of my problems or make me a better person. I'll repeat, one of the wrong expectations is dating will solve my problems or make me a better person. I want to tell you that uh, the reality is that when it comes to dating uh, and we go, we extend it to marriage, these things amplify. And I think uh, uh, Douglas has mentioned, uh, has touched on this even in the introductory part. They amplify what is there. So you can't come into a, a, a relationship expecting to be made better. Before you get into the relationship, one has to take that step to uh, better themselves, uh, to, to deal with their, their, their issues. Uh, don't bring baggage into a relationship, expecting your spouse to know how to deal with you. Remember, these two, these two, either either these two people have never been in this situation before. So you're bringing issues to a person who may not know, or how can I say it better, who I'm sure will not know what to do with you. You know, so a lot of people have this expectation that as soon as I get somebody, my life will change. As soon as I get somebody, uh, my life will be better. I'll be a better person. The things that I've been struggling with, they will end. You, you understand? A lot of people have had this notion. Uh, okay, Paul probably mentioned it a bit. And he spoke and said that if you are struggling with your body, that it is good to, to get married. But I know a lot of people have counseled, a lot of people have uh, experienced, a lot of people who are still married and are still struggling with issues. Marriage or a relationship does not solve some, uh, some of the issues that uh, uh, come about. We need to take that deliberate action to look within ourselves and to understand ourselves first. Before, uh, the Bible says that uh, man shall leave his parents and shall cleave to his wife and they shall become one. Now, before two become one, this individual people must be whole in themselves. If they come together and they're not whole in themselves, the, the, then this will not be, it will not be one, it will be a fraction, it will be something that is broken. So uh, before you get into a relationship, you have to take time to really search yourself, understand yourself, understand where you've come from, understand the things that you've gone through, understand, take time to, you know, search within yourself, what are some of the weaknesses that I have, you know, is it bitterness, is it anger? Is it a, 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 a what is this a lack of self belief? Is, is it a low self in, uh, image? All these things we need to take a look. And then when you get to understand that, then you begin to ask yourself, how can I make myself better? How can I improve? Before I meet somebody, because the truth is, if you're not whole, any person will be liable to take advantage of you. Let me tell you this out there the people who are predators. And the easiest person to, 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 to prey upon is a person who is not whole, a person who is not, uh, who, is, who has issues. You know, it's easier to prey on them. But if somebody is whole, you'll be able to see, you can see the, 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 the wolf in the sheep's clothing. Because I tell you, yes, sir, I tell you the truth. There are many wolves wearing uh, sheep's clothing. And they are targeting, they are hunting. So if you have low self-esteem, they know how to get across that. If you're somebody who's needy, like uh, what the curriculum speaks about, if you're somebody who's suffering loneliness, they know how to deal with that and get what they expect. So it's something that we really need to look at. Dating or getting into a relationship will not solve your problems. That is a wrong expectation. Let me move to the second one. Dating someone is good for my status. That is a wrong expectation and I've come across this, especially uh, 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 amongst the young people, especially the ladies. Sorry, ladies, uh, I'm not targeting you, but I'm just stating. Uh, ladies uh, uh, have been drawn a lot to, you know, a relationship is status. You know, when I have this person in my life, what waingine, what I need ambua. You know, I have, you know, I have, I've made a mark in uh, society amongst my peers. You know, I have somebody. So they will search for a certain type of person, you know, ignoring some of the telltale signs that are there. As long as I have somebody who's holding on to me, what, what I need. And I want to tell people, no, it, uh, uh, dating someone is not good for your status. Status does nothing in marriage. For those of us who have gone ahead and are in marriage can attest Appearance when you're the two of you, mukiwa kwa nyumba yenu. I believe everybody understands Kiswahili. Uh, Douglas, maybe you can confirm for me so that I don't uh, diverge. Uh, they understand. They understand. <laughs> they understand. Okay. Watu wili wakiwa katika nyumba. Hakuna mali appearance. In fact, that is when these people look 
their worst. Hapo ndiyo shati ya sengenge inavaliwa. Hapo ndiyo uh, bwana nyundo hajanyoa ndevu, anaamka tu kwa hivi hivi. When it comes to that place, appearance plays no part. These are two people who have to come together and to make decisions, who have to, you know, uh, push everybody aside. That is not, when, when you're the two of you in the house, they, 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 there's no space for people from outside. You have to make the decisions, the two of you. And that's what we are saying, God's uh, uh, vision for marriage is agreement. The, the, the uh, agreement in marriage will not take outsiders. It takes two people. So this thing about status, people having this expectation that my status, oh, my status, my status will be elevated, you know, I'll be seen uh, or, or, or revered as a, a, a person of high quality. No, 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 no. That is a wrong expectation. Before uh, you get into, into a marriage, like we're seeing before, or a relationship, make sure that you deal with yourself. It does not take somebody else to appraise your status. You can do that on yourself, by, by yourself. You can do that through information. You can do that through education. You can do that through uh, create, uh, uh, bettering your character and bettering your, 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 your interactions with people that you can do on your own. Marriage does not do that. Number three, love will conquer all. Kwanza, this one is the biggest. This one is the biggest. Love will conquer all. You find uh, single people, uh, uh, let me not say single people, but lonely people fall a lot into this trap because they feel that as long as I get love, my life will change. My life will be transformed. My life will be shifted in some way. But that is not true. Uh, uh, the reality is only God's love is whole and pure. Please, somebody note that down. Only God's love is whole and pure. Do not be cheap. <laughs> I just want to get in the Kwanza. You can read that on the study chat. Yeah, you can read that on the study chat 10 times so that you can never forget about that. Thank you, continue. Yes. You can read them. Yeah. Only God's love is whole and pure. Now, what that does when you understand that, Uki Patana na huyo Njama, Ama Uki Patana na huyo Msupa, huyo Mrembo, they will be as that wrong expectation of expecting something from them that they cannot offer will be removed. Because I tell you the truth. No man can offer you perfect love. You will not just find somebody who will offer everything that you need and expect. If you go in with that mentality, it will fail miserably. And that's what, where you hear, people have been married for six months, they've left one another because there was wrong expectation. They thought love, love will fill me. Love will, will, will enlighten me. Love will elevate me. You know, love will cure the, 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 the loneliness that I'm feeling inside. You know, love will sort one, two, three, four, up to 100, but it, it's not true. Only the love of God can sort those things. And the love of God, you can seek on your own. You do not need somebody with you to seek the love of God. You do not need somebody with you to be able to access God. So this thing about thinking that love will conquer all is a wrong expectation. We are human beings, we are flawed. I know that the person, even as you're entering into marriage, even for the people who are, are okay, they are, they are holding themselves. They understand that I'm going to meet with somebody who also has certain flaws. But the thing is, we are able to agree, we are able to talk, and we are able to find our way out of these situations. We are able to discuss, we are able to you know, put our minds together and find solutions because li uh, life is, is all about uh, bumps here, you know, getting into issues here and there. So if you're not able to come together with somebody and uh, solve the situation, then it becomes a challenge. Uh, I, I was writing down and I said, so we must look at other fundamental issues away from love, such as character. Character is very important. You know, it's not just love. Uh, love is good, the feelings. And understand that love is, uh, it's a very, the, the human love, God's love is agape. Agape means a love that is whole in its totality. A love that does not expect anything. God, the word of the Lord says that God loved us first. We don't, we didn't do anything to attain his love. He loved us first. You know, his his love goes beyond what we can do. It goes beyond expectations. It goes beyond what we can give. You know, he gave first, he gave his son. So that is a, uh, God's love. But the, the human uh, love is that uh, that one which is emotional. It's based on emotions. How I feel today how this person makes me feel, how I woke up, <laughs> what is happening within me, you know, what, uh, it's based on current, you understand? So 
uh, uh, beyond that, you must look at the character of this person. Yes, I may not be feeling this person right now, but what is their character? Are they of a good character? Are they, uh, uh, is their char does their character speak for them? They, is this somebody who is consistent over a period of time? Uh, uh, also look at looking at personality. What kind of personality does this person have? Uh, is this person, you know, uh, is their personality you to somebody who doesn't care or just uses people or uh, does do they have the right personality? And if they have the wrong personality, are they doing something about it? Because we have different personalities. You have to understand what personality you carry. And every personality has a, a, a positive and a negative. So you need to understand if your 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 um how can I say if your temperament is uh, if you are mel melancholic if you are a, a sanguine if you are a you know a, a choleric or a, a phlegmatic you know those are the temperaments you need to understand yourself I fall on this I fall on that side you know and get to know that uh, issues like uh, uh, does this person have vision you know. Uh, when you get into talk to somebody and you get to understand to them and i remember last time uh, uh, douglas we had a session and i, I spoke about the milkshake uh, the, the difference between the milkshake and the ugali and skuma and today i also bring it up again when uh, people are uh, meeting uh, it's when you're meeting somebody don't just enjoy the milkshake don't just enjoy the burger don't just enjoy the the, the pizza or whatever don't just enjoy shallow talk but listen to this person this person does this person have a vision you know does this person have uh, somewhere where they want to go or uh, uh, things that they want to do? Does, uh, is this person seeing beyond now? You know, so those are some of the things that you look into. Love does not conquer all. You need to be very specific and uh, uh, look at that, uh, at those things. Also, try and get to understand what is this person's relationship with God. And I speak to the ladies, by the way, in, in great uh, 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 multitude and altitude and an amplified <laughs> sense of uh, coming from somewhere. Identify the relationship that this person has with God and vice versa even for the men. Because the way that somebody, the way that somebody has a relationship with God tells you how they will deal with you. So if this person is very shallow and light because I believe we're speaking to people who are believers, people who love God and have a, a, a relationship with God. The way this person uh, deals with God will tell you a lot. The way their commitment to the things of God, their commitment to God himself, because we, it's not being in God is not just activity, but having a personal relationship with him, uh, a, a relationship that guides you, a relationship that guides you how you treat people, a, a relationship that guides you how you engage with people. So when you look at this person and see their relationship with God, that will tell you how this person will deal with you. So I also move on to the to the next one. The next uh, wrong expectation is a lot of people have an expectation of perfection. I repeat again, perfection. And here is where people feel that everything will fall into place. Every detail will fit in its place.